Um, modularity is a very important factor in our work. So the Chinese building history was fun funded with bamboo, especially in the south of China. Um, in Austria, it is wood. So Austrians are very good wood craftsmen. Um, it is therefore no surprise that this, uh, this material uh, everybody is talking about now, uh, cross-laminated timber, was invented in Austria. It was invented in Austria 30 years ago. And it's basically um, cross-laminated uh, massive wood uh, blanks. And um, those, they ca can be used not just for single-family houses, how Austria used it now for 30 years, but they also can be used in high-rises. So you can finally build a skyscraper in wood. Because of this cross-lamination, the wood doesn't shrink and doesn't expand, which is usually the problem of higher structures uh, with wood. Um, living in a wood building, of course, comes also with other benefits. So, for example, it is four times lighter than concrete. That means that you can build thinner. It is more resistant than to earthquakes because it is lighter. Um, you get more square meters. So it, it has an, uh, it has an um, uh, economical benefit, but also an ecological. So, for example, people who live in wood houses uh, have a lower heart rate. Um, so wood uh, is very, uh, very good uh, uh, to, to use in architecture, but for now there was just the, the, the limit in height, and this material then changes it. For this project I introduced, it's called uh, Toronto Tree Tower. Um, it's a project, uh, well, in Toronto. And uh, it was influenced by, by two projects. One was the, was the, um, the Habitat 67 from Moshe Safdi in Montreal. Um, which was, I think, one of the first ones who used prefabricated voxels um, to put into the structure. So the, the process of building was something completely new. He did it in, in concrete, which was far too heavy. I think the, uh, three or four cranes actually crumbled under the weight. And on the other hand, the Bosco Verticale uh, in Milan. And both of them uh, somehow gave this inspiration for a Toronto tree tower. So we use um, also voxels, prefabricated ones, because it is wood, it is much lighter. And they are then prefabricated off-site, delivered to site, and then craned into place. So it is a kind of a new, uh, not, not a new mentality basically to, to build, um, but a newly found uh, mentality. Um, and in the end, then to introduce uh, trees back into the building, that the material for the building is basically then growing on the building itself. Um, it's uh, also during the, during the winter when the trees they lose their leaves, uh, there can sunlight come into the apartments. Um, when, when, uh, when it's summer and the, the trees are blossoming, um, it gives a natural uh, sun shade then to the interior spaces. So it's basically a kind of a garden, but uh, in the sky. And I really like to think of building in wood because um, I like this diagram that a natural resource like our sun um, is giving life to our natural materials. And they then can be processed um, into, with high, um, high tech um, into building planks. And after the life cycle of a building can be reused then and have a second life after the building is demolished. <clears throat> 